Hello, it's Wednesday. Not a lot done this week, I mostly was relaxing, had a barbecue, all fun stuff in the nice weather. Haven't really had a chance to enjoy the nice weather. So, uh, you know, did that on Monday, when it rained. Excellent. So, finished this week is... Whee! The on-camera Death Watch guy. Which means that the video for this, it's already done. Um, it's currently available to Patreon new, uh, patrons of $5 or more. And a few people managed to see it uh, because YouTube had a little hiccup and didn't mark it as unlisted properly when I uploaded it. But yes, it, this is currently available. Um, it goes over the red areas, so this knee pad, freehanding that, painting this combi bolter the eye lenses, and it also does the silver areas, so this entire shoulder pad, um, and the little green light on the backpack there as well. So that will be going up for everybody else uh, on Sunday, that's this Sunday coming, but if you want to see it earlier, Patreon. There's also some bonus footage for those of you who are in the uh, $10 tier or more. It's just a little bit of fun. So yeah, this is the only model I finished. But I started a bunch of models this week. And obviously, this is the rest of his squad. Look at them. All, all five of the guys. They're lovely. Um, I started the Chosen Axe's leader again. He got stripped again. Uh, this broke and I had to pin it. But uh, other than that, He's being done. He's being started again. I'm going to be painting him over the next uh, few days, but I'm going to be editing part three of this in the next weekend. So you won't be coming super soon. But yes, this guy I started again because um, I can't really remember why. Oh, that was it. I put a wash on the gold bits, and it was mixed with some gloss paint, gloss varnish, and it went all wrong. And I had to use stripper to get it out. It didn't go well. It was a bad experiment. Um, I've also this is a, a lovely base, which is you know blowing out on the camera. It's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on. But this base is for one of my golden demon entries for the 2019 uh, golden demon classic vehicle category. It's when I enter Carob Colm the Risen, a lovely Leviathan Dread that I've uh, coveted and I picked up at the 2018 gold, uh, Warhammer Fest. And so this guy, I'm kind of painting from the bottom up, so I'm doing the base first, and then I'm doing his feet, which will be something along these lines. You can probably imagine the kind of pose that we're going for. It will be uh, one foot up on the rocks. He's going to be uh, bringing his arms back and kind of roaring into the air because, you know, Leviathan Dreads are crazy. And he's a particularly crazy one. So this is the base that I started for that. Uh, this is Milliput super fine, the clay-like stuff, not the epoxy resin green stuff type. Um, version, which is great for working out, working into rock shapes. This is Plaster of Paris poured into some, I think it's model scenics, woodland scenics moulds for rock faces and then broken up and then milliputted together in order to create a nice little rock outcrop that's a bit different to these bits of slate, um, sand, just bird sand for bird cages. And this is uh, baking soda on top of PVC, which is su it gives a super, super fine texture. Um, I totally stole the idea from Uncle Atom. So uh, we'll see how it ch turns out. But yeah, going for a desert base is this. I'm going for, what is it, uh, Fires of Kalth. I think it's the, the next Imperial Armour book that keeps getting delayed. And we'll have the Red Scorpions and Tau in it. So 
based on how they've painted all the red scorpions that, that were supposed to be released for that book, it looks like it's going to be on a desert type planet, orangey desert planet, which makes sense because their red scorpions have a slight tinge of blue to them. So that's what I'm doing here. Give myself a nice dynamic base. Um, what else? Oh, I started just a whole other squad worth of Death Watch. Um, got the shoom. Got the Space Wolf guy from Death Watch Overkill. Uh, his arm was knocking about. There it is. Not painted the arm yet. The chainsaw arm. So I'm just doing him up because he's going to be a fun model to paint. And I've got in here five more vet, uh, no, four more Mark VIII veterans with shotguns, which will be accompanying my frag cannon that I painted uh, before. So I've painted all their silver arms. Super quick to do the silver arms the way I do. And in the same batch, I will be painting uh, Chaplain Cassius, also from Death Watch Overkill. This piece, this, breaks so easily. It's broken twice so far, and the head of this broke off as well. And oh, I forgot to drill, drill his barrel, drill your barrels. Um, so yeah, his backpack's in there somewhere. But yeah, this is my second HQ, so that I can then officially field a battalion once all of this is done in the imaginary games that I play, because I don't really get to play 40k much, because I never finish an army, and I don't like painting with unpainted models. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, a bit of a slow week this week. A lot of starting things, not a lot of finishing things, but finished a video. Finished a video tutorial, that's, that's important, right? And that's parts, I recorded parts two and three, because obviously his base is done. And then part three will include all of the goldy bits, the leathery bits, and the base. And if I find anything on these other guys, because I th don't think, no, this guy doesn't have a purity seal. So this guy's got a purity seal. I might record doing the purity seal on this guy. And add that to the video if it is lacking in time. But I think part two is almost half an hour long. Part three will probably be similar length. Um, so yeah, half an hour seems just under half an hour seems to be the sweet spot for my videos. Any longer than that, and I get bored editing them, and I got to do something else. So there we go, another kill team complete, and that's it. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment talking about what you're working on this week. Um, what you've been doing recently. Follow me on the social medias and also if you want to support me there is the Patreon and there will be a link to that uh, there-ish. So subscribe there, Patreon there, social medias there. That should work. Bye.